Everyone is absolutely obsessed with AI lip sync, turning any face on video into a perfectly dubbed clip that can smash engagement on TikTok, Reels, or Shorts. My company started using Verdi for sales training, and it's honestly been a game changer. But with new lip sync engines launching every single month, which tools actually nail mouth movements the best and which just flap around like a bit of a puppet? Well, over the last three years, I've road tested over 47 different lip sync models and tools while building virtual humans for my company, Verti, with customers including Amazon. Amazon and Pandora. Now today we're going to be counting down the top 10 AI lip sync platforms for 2025 and I've also included a bonus three picks at the end that didn't quite make today's list. We're going to be looking at lip sync accuracy, animation presets and price so that we can choose one that's the right fit for you. I've popped all the links to the tools in today's video in the description down below and I'm also going to reveal my personal favorite at the end so make sure you hit subscribe and stick around to the video and with that being said let's dive straight into the first tool on today's list. First up we've got Sync which is laser focused on lip sync as you might be able to guess from the name. It's able to lip sync any video realistically and I've been using the 1.9 and 2.0 versions which are absolutely incredible and can be fed a single video and then lip sync it against any audio track or text. One of the coolest things with sync is that it offers zero shot accuracy on real or animated footage and it also offers voice cloning and text to speech bundled into a single call. One of its big strengths and the reason that we use it a lot is that it also focuses on API calls and has a really accessible credit system with a hobby plan starting at $5 a month plus $3 per minute scaling up to a scale plan which is $249 a month and $2.40 per minute for high volume teams. It's got a really clean developer workflow and the lip sync itself is very realistic as you can see. Now I've used this quite a lot and one drawback is it's not quite perfect. Now with sync I often default to lip sync 1.9 rather than 2 simply because I find 2 has a little bit of trouble with teeth when an avatar is talking for a long period of time and the mouth movements aren't quite perfect perfect. You also need to set things like bounce or loop mode if you want a really clean video experience because if you set it to loop for example and you've got something moving in the background you can have this weird effect where the video kind of cuts off and restarts if it's shorter than the audio you're feeding it and equally with bounce sometimes it moves backwards and forwards. That being said sync in my opinion is one of the best out there on the market and definitely worth trying. You know grandpa goes around and he does his business in public because grandpa isn't shady. Any of your uh, scientists working on anything new? Why was Knight Rider called Knight Rider? I don't, I don't want to overstep my bounds or anything. It's your house. It's your world. You're a real Julius Caesar. You know, Grandpa goes around and he does his business in public because Grandpa isn't shady. Any of your uh, scientists working on anything new? Why was Knight Rider called Knight Rider? I don't, I don't want to overstep my bounds or anything. It's your house. It's your world. You're a real Julius Caesar. Now, if you're looking for more of a complete lip syncing and video workflow, then this next tool is for you. And it's called Clipyard. It's specifically focused on creating viral content for ads or organic on social socials and it's got an absolutely amazing lip syncing module which is slightly hidden away in its talking head mode when you create an AI avatar and then feed it a script or upload an audio file. Now Clipyard's also got voice cloning built into it and a selection of voices and avatars for you to choose from and you can upload your own talking avatar for customization and then send it off with a script in any language. Now the team use their own modified proprietary speak model and it's absolutely incredible. It's got one of the most accurate lip syncs that I've seen out there and is able to handle things like slightly different angles, people moving around, and it makes highly realistic avatars speak in a very realistic way. Hey, welcome to Clipyard. Here you can find automated viral videos and avatars like me designed to turn attention into action and drive more traffic where you want it. So what are you waiting for? For a one minute video, generation takes around 10 to 15 minutes and prices start at 67 pounds a month for 15 videos and then Pro doubles your quota. It does also have an API if you wanna bake this into your own app. And another really cool benefit here is that you can actually export your avatar with captions or subtitles and add in your own B-roll at the end following one of the platform's AI generated hooks to try and make your product, brand or startup go viral on socials. And number three, we've got Hagen's AI lip sync panel, which lets us drop audio onto real footage or any of its 500 avatars and then exports up to five minutes of multilingual clips. Free users get three watermarked videos a month and then creator tiers start at $29 a month with team seats added at 39 seats a month, which adds longer run times and 4K export. Now, Heijen is absolutely amazing. It uses its own lip sync function and in avatar creator four mode, this is really realistic. You can upload your own video, train that, and then get your avatar to speak in any language you like with highly realistic lip sync. You can also do things like creating polished, present 
presenter style explainer videos. You can switch up the aspect ratio, which you can't in a lot of the tools on today's list, which are focused on 916. And it's also got an API mode that allows you to connect it up into your app, but which does start to get quite expensive at higher tiers, going up to almost $1,000 a month. The main downsides with HeyGen are firstly the price, and secondly, you will need to do some editing afterwards if you're looking to put out your lip sync videos onto socials, as it doesn't have that kind of social side that some of the other tools on today's list do. My name is Maximus Decimus Meridius, commander of the armies of the north, general of the Felix legions, and loyal servant to the true emperor, Marcus Aurelius, father to a murdered son, husband to a murdered wife, and I will have my vengeance in this life or the next. At number four, we've got LatentSync from ByteDance, the company behind TikTok. Now this is actually open source and it's a diffusion model that trains directly in latent space for sharper, more stable lip motion. Version 1.6 bumps resolution to 512 and halves VRAM needs if you're really getting into the open sourcing side of things. It's also completely free if you've got a GPU and can be accessed via API platforms like Replicate. Now when I use LatentSync, it's good on certain videos, but it does get quite blurry on others. If you want high definition, this probably isn't for you but if you want a free optimized pipeline and don't mind diving into that workflow to really tweak things and improve some of the visibility with some other upscaling tools built in then it's definitely worth trying out and you can get really good results if you fiddle around with the settings but this definitely isn't one if you're just looking to pick something up dub a video lip sync and then put it out onto socials you know grandpa goes around and he does his business in public because grandpa isn't shady any of your uh, scientists working on anything new why was Knight Rider called Knight Rider? I don't want to overstep my bounds or anything. It's your house. It's your world. You're a real Julius Caesar. At number five, we've got Runway Gen 4's lip syncing tool. Runway's lip sync tool pairs text to speech or uploaded audio with photos or video. The pro tier adds custom voice cloning too. Standard packages start at $12 per user per month and includes over 600 credits, which is around a minute's video on Gen 4. Now, because Runway is primarily an AI video generation suite, it's really great at lip syncing its own videos and also comes with a suite of tools like layer masks, motion brush, and and multi-face support for dialogue scenes, which is pretty insane. The downside here is that the credit math can get quite complex across multiple different models, and there's a 16 second ceiling per render unless you stack up the clips. The good news here is that it's very good indeed if you're generating videos through their platform. If you're uploading and trying to use your own, not quite as good as some of the other tools on today's list, but definitely worth a try. And if you're a runway stan and already have an account, it's definitely worth keeping an eye on this as they upgrade it all the time. My name is Maximus Decimus Meridius, commander of the armies of the north, general of the Felix legions, and loyal servant to the true emperor, Marcus Aurelius, father to a murdered son, husband to a murdered wife, and I will have my vengeance in this life or the next. At number six, we've got Hedra Studios Character 3. Now, Hedra's Omnimodal Character 3 processes image, text, and audio simultaneously, outputting expressive talking heads with a 98% sync accuracy according to their internal benchmarks. Its pricing starts at dollars a month 30 second videos and scaling up to 60 seconds on pro tiers. Character 3 is really great and it's 100% worth jumping in and playing around with. In my experience the lip syncing was some of the best out there and while it probably isn't 98% accuracy in my experience it does a very good job. Again with videos generated through its own studio it's really top class and when your own image and voice to be lip sync it can get a little bit janky and not be quite as accurate as some other tools but it's definitely worth checking out just for its emotion sliders and body gestures which includes not just the lips and it also has 11 labs voices built in the downside here is that the free tier is watermarked and only has 15 seconds max of video and the web ui occasionally is a little bit janky in my experience but the payoff is really great character driven explainer videos that can be created if you need emotional facial expressions and a little bit more control over other tools on the list my name is maximus decimus meridius commander of the armies of the north, general of the Felix legions, and loyal servant to the true emperor, Marcus Aurelius, father to a murdered son, husband to a murdered wife, and I will have my vengeance in this life or the next. At number seven, we've got probably my favorite AI video generation model, which is Kling, and it's Match Mouth Button, which lets us upload audio to any Kling generated clip under 10 seconds, and then returns mouth matched output in just a few minutes. Now this feature is included in the standard plan, which is $6.99 per month for 600 credits, and it works even on stylized faces that other models miss in my experience. It's also got a really cool ambient sound generator that's currently in beta that you can pair with your lip sync, which is a really nice additional 
touch. Now, the downside here is it only includes Kling originated videos accepted. Now, in my experience, Kling lip sync is probably a little bit better than something like latent sync without tweaking it, but certainly not as good as some of the other tools like Clipyard or Sync that we've seen on the list so far. But again, if you have an existing Kling account and you're obsessed with generating your videos through Kling and it fits into your workflow, then it's definitely a really good option. But if you're looking for complete lip syncing fidelity and you're trying to use multiple tools to create that, then it might not be one for you. You know, Grandpa goes around and he does his business in public because Grandpa isn't shady. Any of your uh, scientists working on anything new? Why was Knight Rider called Knight Rider? I don't want to overstep my bounds or anything. It's your house, it's your world, you're a real Julius Caesar. At number eight, we've got Veed's lip syncing tool. Their lip sync and AI dubbing tool is available on pro, business, and enterprise tiers and allows you to translate and auto match mouth shapes across 175 languages, according to Veed. Pro plans start at 18 pounds per month. And of course, Veed is a full video suite and includes everything from video editing to export and resizing. So the AI tool actually comes in inside that price. If you're looking to keep lip syncing within your video, Video editor, then it's a really great option. And it also comes with that one click translation feature, which is perfect for things like global marketing teams or quickly translating videos in a single click. And the editor also keeps the original subtitle layers intact if you're looking at adding in subtitles across multiple different languages. Now, in my opinion, there was still quite a lot of tricky occlusions that needed to be edited and fixed. And this wasn't the perfect lip syncing out of all of the ones. Now, in my experience with Veed, while it gives you a really fast localization pipeline, if you really need fine tuned, high fidelity lip sync, there are still quite a lot of occlusions in there that need editing afterwards, and it's not going to pick up really tricky videos with the avatar moving from side to side. But again, definitely worth checking out and certainly good if you've got existing videos created in Veed, and if you get the perfect conditions, it can generate some highly realistic lip syncing. You know, Grandpa goes around and he does his business in public because Grandpa isn't shady. Any of your uh, scientists working on anything new? Why was Knight Rider called Knight Rider? I don't want to overstep my bounds or anything. It's your house. It's your world. You're a real Julius Caesar. At number nine on the list, we've got wav to lit which is completely open source and which is the classic research model from 2020. And it's still the favorite for DIYers, running locally, script via Python and output HD video. Its commercial grade improvements are now live and they're actually behind some of Sync's API, which we saw at the top of today's list. Now, the big benefits with wav to lit is that it's completely free and it's very well documented and supported online. So if you're looking for something that's completely free, it's a really great first place to start. However, some of the newer diffusion models optimize a lot of the occlusion around the mouth and are actually technically better and faster. However, you can find some pipelines out there that will run in things like upscaling around wav to lip outputs. And again, if you do want to integrate something that's completely free for your own workflow, then it's a very good place to start and it works offline, which is excellent for secure pipelines. The downside, it's not the best or most high fidelity lip syncing tool out there. And if if you do want to spend money, you'll get much better results with some of the other tools on today's list. You know, Grandpa goes around and he does his business in public because Grandpa isn't shady. Any of your uh, scientists working on anything new? Why was Knight Rider called Knight Rider? I don't want to overstep my bounds or anything. It's your house. It's your world. You're a real Julius Caesar. And at number 10, we've got Pix versus Lip Sync Tool. Now, this is pretty cool because unlike some of the tools on today's list, like say, for example, Kling, which limits your export and lip syncing to around about 10 seconds of video generated through the platform, Pixverse actually opens things up to around about a minute, extending to three minutes if you go off platform with some of their API calls. Now, Pix versus tools are really good. And actually, the lip sync is amazingly realistic and very accurate when I experimented with it. It will cover both faceless and high fidelity, realistically generated avatars like those seen on Clipyard's Real or Vibe models, which are probably some of the best out there. Pixverse is absolutely fantastic in my opinion, definitely worth checking out. And you've also got the generate speech tool, generate transitions, and the entire video workflow for you to play with within the platform. The API is really strong too, and offers some really good accessible price points if you wanna embed this into your own workflow offline using NA10 or something similar. There's also a free basic tier on Pixverse that allows you to try things out. And then the standard plan starts at $10 a month. So it's very accessible and scales up with your needs. You know, grandpa goes around and he does his business in public because grandpa isn't shady. 
Any of your uh, scientists working on anything new? Why was Knight Rider called Knight Rider? I don't, I don't want to overstep my bounds or anything. It's your house, it's your world, you're a real Julius Caesar. And that's the end of the top 10, but I just wanted to add in two bonus tools that I used out of all the lip syncing tools that I tried out that didn't quite make the list, but I wanted to tell you about them anyway. So the first bonus tool is called Lemon Slice Live, and it actually offers real-time chat with any photo. You can plug in Eleven Labs Voices or DeepGram, and then Lemon Slice animates 25 frames per second video with zero shot lip syncing across 10 different languages. Now, the really interesting thing with Lemon Slice, and one of the reasons that my company was playing around with it, was that it also offers real-time speech. So you can actually stream an avatar in real-time, and then it lip-syncs the video or image that you upload in real-time, speaking with a one-to-one -one avatar, as you can see. And that's pretty amazing. The basic asynchronous standard lip-sync where you upload a video or a photo is good, but it possibly makes the lips look a little bit too cartoony and over-exaggerated in my experience, and needs a little bit of tweaking and work. But it's definitely one to keep an eye on, as it looks really interesting interesting what they've got coming up in their roadmap. My name is Maximus Decimus Meridius, commander of the armies of the north, general of the Felix legions, and loyal servant to the true emperor, Marcus Aurelius. And bonus tool number two is Tavis Hummingbird Zero. This is a zero shot model that delivers market leading lip sync at just $1.50 per minute via their API. It's really great for producing mass personalized videos and you can plug it into most workflows in things like N8N if you have an account. The one drawback here is it's not completely accurate and it is a little bit slower to generate than some of the other models on today's list. But again, definitely worth having a quick look at and you can see from the example that it's pretty good but not quite perfect when compared against some of the others. You know, Grandpa goes around and he does his business in public because grandpa isn't shady any of your uh, scientists working on anything new why was knight rider called knight rider i don't, don't want to overstep my bounds or anything it's your house it's your world you're a real julius caesar Okay, so which is the best lip syncing tool out there? Well, having tried hundreds of lip syncing tools and integrated them into my business through APIs, I can tell you that my top three are Hedra Character 3 for realism. I also really like Action Mode in Runway, which is absolutely fantastic if you're generating your own videos. And then Clipyard also has an absolutely amazing realism lip sync if you're generating AI UGC style characters that really maps to human lips in a way that's much better than some of the others on the list. Now, all of them have slight subtleties and depending on your video and your own workflows, it's definitely trying out the ones that fit for you. For example, if you've already got an account with Kling, Kling's lip sync is pretty good, but if your needs are a longer form video or you're wanting to train your own avatar and then use it on socials, then perhaps something like HeyGen might suit you a little bit better. But for the most part, if you're looking to create AI videos and they're more kind of movie style or you're looking to create consistent characters, I would say start off with either Hedra, Clipyard or Runway and focus down on those in terms of the best lip syncing out there. So that was it. I hope you really enjoyed today's video. I'm going to put up another video over here where you can check out some other amazing AI tools that you can jump into right now. Thanks so much for watching and for subscribing and I'll catch you again next time. See ya.